Hey Olivia crew, Beth here with your yoga. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, check with your doctor, make sure you're A-OK -okay to do some yoga fun with us, and have some water. Some water nearby and whenever you need to take a sip, definitely take that break and take a little sip. Now let's head to the mat. All right, bringing your water with you, setting it anywhere that is comfortable for you. And if you accidentally kick it over, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> I've been so I've done that for many, many times. All right, we'll go into that easy seat position and just take a second to wiggle around and breathe and do your very best just to let everything go just for a minute. Worries, concerns, all those stressors, everything, they will be there when we're done. If you can, close your eyes. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then see if you can transfer that breath from the chest to the belly. Let the belly rise and fall. Bringing your intention for today's practice, that beautiful gratitude to your amazing body. And then when you are ready, gently open the eyes, looking down at the floor, just gazing down. And breathe. And from here, let's take that right arm, lifting it high in the air, setting the shoulder down, bringing the palm to the front of the room, and then taking those fingers and bringing it in towards the palm, and then opening them up nice and wide. Fingers come in, they open, and see if you connect your breath with the fingers opening and closing. From here, let's extend that arm long, make the spine really long, and go ahead and think about bringing that right shoulder over to the left knee, bringing the right arm right along with you. Maybe that right arm touches the floor, maybe it stays. High bicep cover in here. Inhale, lift that right hand and bring it all the way down with an exhale to the mat. We'll take that left hand, really reach it high, palm towards the front. Spreading out those fingers, letting the fingertips drop to the palm and opening and closing. Elongate through that spine, bring your breath along with the opening closing of your hand. And then let's take our left shoulder. Wait, yeah, left shoulder to the right knee. Again, that arm can cover, bicep can cover the ear, arm can come down, what feels good for you. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let that left arm drop down. Let's take those shoulders. Inhale, let them rise towards the ears. Exhale, let's bring them behind the body. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Guys, nice. take a second just to wiggle around a little bit. Breathing. And then let's extend a leg. Whether it's left or right, doesn't matter. I'll lead with the right. Just take that leg out. And then that nice left leg is sort of towards in towards the pelvis as much as you can bring it comfortable for you. Let's point and flex that right toe. And then let's inhale those arms up. Gently taking the body and the chest, twisting it towards that right side, giving those toes a little bit of a hello. Inhale, exhale, that body right down as much as you can. 
on that right leg. Inhale, lifting. Exhaling the arms down as we twist the front body forward. And then let's go ahead and bring that right leg forward. And we can bring that left heel in towards the body. Ah, should feel kind of nice. It might be stretching that hamstring. Inhale, lift. And then we'll take the body right center over the ankle. Exhale. Breathe. Inhale, lift. Exhale, the arms down. And both legs down forward. Elongating through the spine. Wiggle the toes if it feels good for you. And then let's just take that right heel in and take that left leg a little bit out long. Breathe here, whatever feels good for you. Inhale, lift those arms high. Gently twisting the torso towards that left side. And with that exhale, coming forward as much as you can. One side might be more bendy than the other. You're totally normal. Inhale, lift. Exhale, those arms down. Bringing that left foot forward, adjusting that right knee. Feel free to wiggle the toes as much as you'd like. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, come forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, arms come down. Both feet come forward. Feel free to wiggle around. Inhale, lift. And exhale, seated forward fold. Keeping the back nice and straight. And inhale, lift. Gently bring those arms on the side of the body. We're gonna twist, well, I have to twist my body quite <laughs> so that we can bring both knees in towards the chest. So just bring both knees in. And then let's gently lean back so that we're on our sit bones. If it doesn't work for you, no worries. Gently lean back with your heels on the floor. Heels can be up either way, but just so you feel that little bit of pull in the belly. Let's elongate the spine. Breathe. Extend the hands if it works for you. Again, your heels can be floating. They don't have to be. And then we gently lower the spine down on the mat. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And then let's take those heels in towards the bottom. I had to scoot a little the other way, but the goal is just to take the heels in. All matter of where you're sitting on your mat. Hands can go right down by the toes or by the heel. And we're gonna go right into bridge. So take a second to look at your knees so that they're not falling in too far. We wanna right in line with the hips. We're gonna squeeze the butt and lift the hips high. Nice. Now initially, your legs might take the you know, the first initial muscular power of this. But the more that we just hold, the more the legs yell at the glutes. Just start working. Squeezing your butt is very helpful here as we're lifting up through the hips. Now option, heels come up. Option, just keep on the regular bridge with no heel lift. Bringing those heels down if you'd like. Bringing the bottom down. And from here, let's extend the right leg. And let's give the left knee a really big hug. Now option, we can bring the chest up. Option, you don't have to. If that chest is up, be mindful of your neck. It's not too far forward, too far back. We want to line it with the spine and gently release down if you're up. Bringing both knees into the chest, roll around just a little bit, should feel pretty good. Setting the heels down on the mat. Go ahead and lift back up to bridge, squeezing the glutes. Check 
Tucking the knees up, falling in. And breathe. Hang out right here. If you'd like to lift the heels, go right ahead and lift. Gently releasing the heels if they're lifted. Gently releasing the bridge down onto the mat. And let's extend the other leg. Left leg for me. And I'm going to hug the right knee. Lifting up the chest is just that option. Flexing that right toe if you like. Maybe you're flexing the left toe up to the ceiling. Right through. Releasing the chest down if you have it up. And bringing the other knee in. Give her a hug. Really good one around. From here, heels come down to the mat. Let's go back into that bridge, lifting it up. Breathing through. Such a good pose. Gently releasing now with that bottom down. We're going to elongate both feet. Nice. And from here, let's lift up that right leg. Let's take the right heel to the outside of the left thigh. Then let's take that right knee and just place it right down so it's kind of like, looks like a figure four. Let that knee gently drop. Check in that your ankle is above that left knee. Don't want it directly on it. If this position doesn't work for you, you can bring that ankle down below, just opening up that hip as much as you can, just that right side. All right, from here, let's take that right foot and bring it right down. That knee's going to come up, right foot is on the mat. And then we'll gently take our left hand, bring it over to the right leg. And gently twist over. How nice is that? You can open that right hand if it works for you. You lean the stretch. We open the hip at first, and now we're working kind of the back of the hip, the side body. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Nice. Let's come center, rolling that right hip back down. Unwind the legs. Let's go ahead and bring it back to bridge so the knees are going to come in. Fingers come down by the ankles. We lift the hips. Holding that bridge. Breathe through. Let the belly rise and fall. Option heels up. If the heels are up, we we'll let them fall. Release our bridge. And lengthen through those legs all the way up. Lifting up that left leg or the other leg that you didn't lift up yet. And bringing that left ankle above that right knee. Letting it fall open. And just check again. Ankle is above the knee or below the knee. Never right on it. And just see if you can lift. The left hip and the left knee. Let the knee, weight of the knee, kind of open up that hip. Hopefully it feels really good. And then let's just take that left foot. We can plant it right on the mat. The left knee is going to open up. And we're going to take that right hand onto the left outer thigh. Gently guide that knee down and over. Can open the left side. Do not have to open the left side. Roll with what feels good for you. Once again, going from that front hip to kind of the side hip, and right into the back end of the side body, giving it a stretch. Gently rolling center, pulling back. 
unwinding, but let's take both knees in, give them a hug. Action, bringing the chest up. You certainly do not have to. If the chest is up, be mindful of the neck. Bringing the heels down towards the butt, and we go back to that bridge. Just lifting right up here. When you're ready, gently releasing that bridge down, bringing the knees back into the chest. Maybe we take same side hand, same side toe, and we go onto the toes, and we either bring those knees into the chest, or we can drop the knees to the outside of the chest for a happy baby. Feel free to wiggle back and forth and happy baby. If you would like to extend that baby, you definitely can by just opening up the legs. And you can still wiggle them out with an extended happy baby too. Very nice. All right, from here, heels come in towards each other. Whether the knees are out wide or in the chest, it doesn't matter. We gently let go, hands to feet, bringing the feet down. Yep, let's go back to bridge. <laughs> Lots of bridges today. Great for our bottom and our hips. Just hang on to it. I know. Inhale, exhale through that stomach. And we'll release our bridge down. And with the power of your core, let's kind of wind our body up to those sit bones. Now, if you have to grab onto the thighs, nothing wrong with that. If you can just extend the arms to come to that sit bone position, nothing wrong with that. Heels can be down, heels can be up. No wrong ways, just lengthen through the spine and feel that tummy engage. Now, if you would like, take those hands in between the knees, reach for the toes, much like our happy baby, and we will extend our bow pose. If this does not work for you, no worries. You just stay with your heels on the ground, leaning back as much as you can, watching your neck. So either way, you're modifying you're taking that nice extended boat, long, long spine. <sighs> Gently bring those heels back together. Gently release the toes, bringing the knees together. And breathe through. From here, we're going to go ahead and cross one ankle over the other. We're going to bring the heels in towards the bottom and roll ourselves up. Okay. So we have a crisscross in our ankles. We have rolled ourselves up. We can fist if you would like. You can have that flat palm if you would like. What's going to work for you today? Roll around, see how that works best. And then let's just take the chest right down towards the thumbs. Let's extend the arms out long as much as you can. Push the hips up. You can release the forehead onto the mat. Bring the belly button in. Roll up that spine arch. And then your predators the right underneath. Armpits. From here, unwind your ankles. Wiggle around, find that beautiful tabletop position. We'll go ahead and extend that right leg up to the ceiling. Let's bring that right knee into the right elbow. Exhale. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, knee to elbow, arching the spine. Two more. Last one here. And coming right back to that tabletop. 
All right, if you're on here, we're gonna tuck the toes. We're gonna do the other side, not the other though. We're gonna tuck the toes and bring it up to downward dog. If there's some more dogs, feel free to walk it out. Nice. And our downward dog. Wiggle around in it just a little bit. Let's take that right hand and extend it to the left knee. Exhale. Bring it back. Taking the left hand to the right knee. Bringing it back. One more time. Right to left. Left to right. And let's release it back to tabletop. Dropping down nice and easy. You're in a lot of control. Wiggling around in that tabletop, we will take that other knee, that left knee lifts high. We bring that left knee into the left elbow. Exhale, arch the back. Lifting that left knee, opening the chest, dropping belly. Exhale. Couple more. Take it as knees about as wide as the hips. Crisscross right at the ankles. From here, we're going to set that bottom down and extend those arms nice and long. Let the chest drop if you'd like. Let the forehead drop. Breathe through. Feel the belly rise and fall. And then those hips can come up, bring the belly button in, and come back to that tabletop position. From here, let's go ahead and walk those hands back towards the knees. And let's rise that front body. Inhale, bring the belly button in. And exhale, release it all the way down. Inhale, lift. Inhale, rise. And exhale, release. We will set the bottom right on down. Roll it back, setting it down. Right onto the mat. We're in that easy seat position. From here, let's take a leg, any leg that's most convenient, and just give it a nice hug. Whether you come into that full a log pose, completely up to you, or you just hang on the best that you can. Let's take whatever leg you have, giving it, cradling it, opening it up a little bit, come in the center, release, elongate through the spine, take that other leg as best you can. Elongate through the spine, open that leg up. Come in center, releasing it down. Take that easy seat or any position that works best for you, wiggle around in it. Take your chin right to the chest. With the weight of the head, stretch the back of the neck. Chin comes parallel to the floor. Let's open up those arms, palms to the ceiling. Let's bring palms to the ceiling and then we twist them gently over until palms come to the ceiling, other direction, right? So come twisted it a little bit. Should feel good though. Only go as far as you can. Palms to the ceiling and palms to the ceiling. A couple more palms. Breathe. Belly rise, belly fall. Inhale, let those hands rise high. 
fingers come together, extend through the body as much as you can, drop the shoulders, but reach high. Elongate the spine, pull the belly button in. Gently, gently lean to that right side, feeling the stretch from the armpit to the top of the hip. Coming center. Elongate through the spine and other side. Take that left stretch. center. Bringing those hands to heart center, elbows come out. I am so grateful that you spent this time with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please email us with any comments, questions, or concerns. Fitness at Olivia.com. The light in me truly honors the light in you. Namaste.